Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem. If sum of lengths of the hypotenuse and a side of right angle triangle is given, show that the area of triangle is maximum when the angle between them is pi by 3. If sum of lengths of the hypotenuse and a side of right angle triangle is given. So let us say that we know hypotenuse that is z plus side of a right angle triangle let us say that is equal to x and we know this is given to us that means it is constant. We have been asked to show that area of triangle is maximum when the angle between them is pi by 3 or we have to prove that theta equal to pi by 3. Now to prove area of the triangle is maximum when the angle between them is pi by 3, first let us understand what is the area of a right angle triangle. We know that area of right angle triangle A equal to half into x into y. Now what is x and what is y in terms of hypotenuse? They are z cos theta into z sin theta which is equal to half into z square sin theta cos theta. Now what is z? For that we will go back here and write down z plus x which is equal to z cos theta equal to k. That means z equal to k by 1 plus cos theta. Now once we know z equal to k by 1 plus cos theta, we can write down area equal to half into k square by 1 plus cos theta whole square into sin theta cos theta which can be written as k square by 4 sin 2 theta divided by 1 plus cos theta whole square. Now to prove to show that area of triangle is maximum we have to differentiate with respect to theta and prove that theta equal to pi by 3. So let us do dA by d theta equal to 0. We take k square by 4 out. We have u by v formula. So v square that is 1 plus cos theta whole to the power of 4 and in the numerator we will have v into u dash that is 1 plus cos theta whole square into derivative of sin 2 theta that is 2 cos 2 theta minus sin 2 theta into derivative of 1 plus cos theta whole square which is 2 into 1 plus cos theta into minus sin theta. Now this whole thing is equal to 0. Now since it is 0 denominator automatically becomes goes to that side and multiply we will get numerator equal to 0. Now let us simplify the numerator. Let us simplify the numerator by converting everything in terms of cos and we want to prove that cos theta equal to 1 by 2 when we solve this. So what we can do I can take 1 plus cos theta 2 into 1 plus cos theta out. So I will take it common then I am left out with cos 2 theta I can write it as 2 cos square theta minus 1 into 1 plus cos theta plus 1 plus cos theta and 2 are gone left out is sin 2 theta sin theta which sin 2 theta into sin theta equal to 0 let us simplify 2 into 1 plus cos theta Two into one plus cos theta 
we can simplify we can write down 2 cos square theta minus 1 into 1 plus cos theta plus sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta so I can write it as 2 sin square theta cos theta which is 2 into 1 minus cos square theta into cos theta equal to 0 now we have a plus b here we have a square minus b square here so we can take one more a plus b that is 1 plus cos theta out it will become 2 into 1 plus cos theta whole square 2 cos square theta minus 1 plus 2 cos theta minus 2 cos square theta equal to 0 which is equal to after simplification 2 into 1 plus cos theta whole square into 2 cos square theta 2 cos square theta cancel we get 2 cos theta minus 1 equal to 0 from here we can see that cos theta equal to 1 by 2 theta equal to pi by 3 Yes, 1 plus cos theta is 0 gives you cos theta equal to minus 1 theta is pi degrees in that case we know that theta is an acute angle so theta should be equal to pi by 3 now we got theta equal to pi by 3 by doing da by d theta equal to 0 this won't prove that the area of triangle is maximum this only tells that area of triangle is extreme either it is minimum or maximum to prove that area of triangle is maximum I have to do d square a by d theta square at theta equal to pi by 3 and I have to prove that it is equal to negative. So let us do that step. We know d a by d theta is equal to after, after all that simplification what we got 1 plus cos theta whole square into 2 cos theta minus 1 divided by 1 plus cos theta whole to the power of 4 we have that constant term k square by 2 is also there that anyway we will not use it we'll just keep it outside this is what we have now let us do second derivative of this or next derivative it will become d square a by d theta square I have to calculate at theta equal to pi by 3 or when theta equal to pi by 3 we also know that cos theta equal to 1 by 2 let us just keep it okay now let's write down maybe we can simplify this we will have 1 plus cos theta whole square so numerator is we have only 2 cos theta minus 1 divided by 1 plus cos theta whole square when you go u by v formula we will have 1 plus cos theta whole to the power of 4 this is v square let me write down here once what is our da by d theta that is 2 cos theta minus 1 divided by 1 plus cos theta whole square multiply that with k square by 2 so this is what we have now when we do v square we will have 1 plus cos theta whole to the power of 4 v that is 1 plus cos theta whole square into u dash that is minus 2 sin theta minus we have next 2 cos theta minus 1 into 1 plus cos theta whole square derivative 1 plus cos theta whole square derivative but I don't care about that because we know cos theta is 1 by 2 so this whole thing will become 0 2 cos theta minus 1 will become 0 so what we are left out is 1 plus cos theta whole square into minus 2 sin theta divided by one plus cos theta whole to the power of 4 but after simplification this is just minus 2 sin theta by 1 plus cos theta whole square and we have k square by 2 everywhere k square by 2 we have to multiply 
k square by 2 into this whole thing now k square by 2 is positive 1 plus cos theta whole square is positive left out is minus 2 into sin theta that is root 3 by 2 divided by positive term we also have positive term that means it is negative so second order derivative is negative derivative of a with respect to theta d a by d theta we equated 0 we got theta equal to pi by 3 when we did d square a by d theta square we got negative for theta equal to pi by 3 that means the the area of triangle is maximum when the angle between them is pi by 3 now let's have a recap of this problem what we have done we have been given that in a right angle triangle the sum of lengths of hypotenuse and a side of right angle triangle is constant that is given to us means it is equal to constant k we have taken we have to show that area of right angle triangle is maximum when the angle between them is theta is pi by 3 now what we have done we have taken the sides as z and x and the angle between them equal to theta now z plus x equal to constant k we have written now what is the area half into x into y but x is z cos theta and y equal to z sin theta and z itself is equal to k by 1 plus cos theta because x plus z is constant but x is z cos theta so z into 1 plus cos theta equal to k or z equal to k by 1 plus cos theta now then we got a equal to k square by 4 into sin theta cos theta divided by 1 plus cos theta whole square we have written it as sin 2 theta by 1 plus cos theta whole square we did u by v we found out that cos theta equal to 1 by 2 or theta equal to pi by 3 by that we know that area is either minimum or maximum to prove that area of triangle is maximum we have to do double differentiation successive differentiation or we did d square a by d theta square and at theta equal to pi by 3 when we substitute we got negative value that means area of triangle is maximum so in this type of problems what we have to understand is what is given to us and what is that function which we have to maximize or minimize then when you write the formula for the function it will be in two variables now you have to leverage the condition given to you so that you can convert them into one variable and then differentiate them accordingly.